uh, Liz, congratulations what, uh, breaking the ACC and Virginia Tech career rebounding records. Uh, what, those are pretty significant <laughs> records. What does that mean to you? Yeah, um, I mean, it's really cool. I think, you know, the main thing that I get from that is, wow, I've been able to play a lot of games and a lot of minutes, and that's, like, probably what I'm most grateful for because not everyone has that opportunity. Um, so just to be in the games enough to grab that many rebounds is awesome, and uh, I guess it's tough to say thanks to my teammates for missing sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes. Uh, for you, is, is rebounding, is it all about effort, or is it about reading the angles off the glass? Is it about being in the right position? You know, what to you do you think has kind of made you such a good rebounder? Yeah, um, definitely preparation, uh, definitely effort. Um, you know, you got to be ready to read angles to a certain degree, but um, it really depends on, on the games, how, how people play, uh, when, you know, bigs play inside, it's probably easier to grab more rebounds. When they're outside, it's a little bit more tricky. So it depends game by game, but it's definitely a point of emphasis for us always. Is that something you've always been good at, <coughs> back to your younger days? Or? Um, probably since I was taller, I'd, compared to the other girls, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Karis. Hi. Uh, David Cunningham, Tech Sideline. Um, you guys started slow from yeah. three and then hit nine of your last ten. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like kind of led to the, the outburst, especially late in the third and fourth quarters? Yeah, I think like in the first half for me, since I'm like super young, I think I get down on myself pretty quickly. Um, and I missed a couple in the beginning, but I think like with the support of my teammates, like they always tell me to keep shooting at practice. They always tell me keep shooting, never get down on yourself. So I think going into the second half, I had a different mentality. Like I like to shoot and that's what I do. So I just kept shooting and um, they ended up falling for me. So it like built my confidence up and then everyone was like helping me also with that. And all the coaches were telling me just, just keep doing it. So I think it helped once I started to get going, then it was just, it was good from there. As you guys played good defense the, the whole game, what do you feel like offensively was the difference in the second half? Um, we just played like ourselves a lot more. We like were just terrible to be honest in the first half, like like jittery and not connected and just not playing well together at all. Um, so in the second half, uh, Coach Brooks, you know, definitely told us how it was, and we went out and fixed it better, much better. What do you like about the way you guys have played <coughs> defense as of late as you head into ACC play? Yeah, um, I think we've been better at being more physical. Um, <laughs> we did only give up 43 points. Our defense wasn't bad at all, but I still think you know, there's some things we need to sure up, um, like finishing plays, grabbing rebounds. I feel like there's too many loose balls we don't get. Um, but, but those will come in time, and as long as the effort and energy is there and people are trying to make adjustments, then we'll keep getting better on that end. Let's go to Ryan in the back of the room. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Good. Congrats on the win. Congrats Thank on the you. record. Thank you. I'm just curious, uh, what, what would you say, I mean, you guys are 11 games in, if, if you don't mind just talking a little about what the identity of this team is as of right now and how you guys have kind of come together. And it seems like you guys have been trying out some new stuff as well. Yeah, I think we've continually tried, you know, different lineups throughout the games. Um, and, you know, at this point when we have so many new pieces, we're all still trying to find roles and find each other's identity. Um, but I think we've really done a good job the last few games of, having people step up, like Karis, uh, Liv, and Rose had great games last game. Um, so as long as these pieces keep getting lifted up and coming together, we'll keep forming our identity. It's hard to say what it is right now, because what it is right now is probably not what it's going to be in a month or two months. Um, but as long as we keep you know, bringing these pieces along, uh, they'll make us much, much better. Remember being super young, Liz? Yeah, back in the day. Uh, you mentioned you brought up your height before when we were talking about rebounding. You know, you know, people might say, okay, well, it's it's, it's probably because of her height that she's such a good rebounder. Do you feel like that, that's not the that there's more to it than that, or you know, how much you attribute that to? Um, I mean, it definitely helps, but uh, you gotta have decent hands and be able to read angles for sure, um, and be able to get position early, or people are just gonna push you out, especially as we enter conference play. Um, it takes a bit more than that. Uh, when we yeah, guys had one three pointer uh, at Rutgers in the first quarter, mm -hmm. uh, today was one three pointer in the, in the first half. Uh, does does that slow shooting start worry you heading into ACC play, uh, or, or you, you or not too much? Um, I don't know. I would say just like the confidence piece that I talked about before. Like I'm just always my teammates are so supportive all the time with the whole shooting stuff, um, and I think everyone it feels the same way. Like the shooters. It's just like our mentality is just keep shooting, just shoot, shoot, shoot. So I think it's not really a worry for me personally, just shooting. 
Um, I just know that, like, even talking to BK on the bench, like, he was like, it's going to fall. Like, the, the best part of the game is, like, you're going to have misses, but you're also going to have makes. So I think just thinking about that, like, I'm not too worried about going into that. It's uh, ACC play now, and it starts with your next game. Uh, how do you feel about this team overall as you turn the page from non-conference to conference? Um, yeah, I'm excited. I think, like I mentioned before, <clears throat> a lot of girls are showing a lot of promise and stepping up, um, and that's what we've needed um, at the beginning of the season. So now to see um, a lot of potential in Clara, a lot in Karis, Liv, Rose, um, Matilda's finding her way. Um, all of those things are really exciting. Oh, Carly also. Um, really exciting and um, it's you know the right time to start playing better together and to have more pieces contribute because you know against against UNC against Duke we're going to need you know a lot more than a couple scores a lot more than a couple defenders so um, as people step into their roles uh, it's a lot more exciting looking forward to our schedule. Karis how, <coughs> how would you describe Liz as a rebounder and what is it like to just to, to play with her and is it, is it kind of one of those things where it's like you know you kind of just know she's going to go up and get it a lot of times? Well, I just want to say playing with Liz is like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I just want to be a sponge, her, Kayla, Georgia, like all of them, especially Liz, like just being able to play with her. Like I've looked up to her for a long time, like knowing that I was coming here, like I would watch TV and be like, I have the opportunity to play with her next year. And so being here already, like just seeing her and her fire when she's on the court, it honestly makes me want to go out there and, and do something to contribute to the team too. So I think just seeing her do what she does, get beat up all the time in the paint, like it makes me want to help her and get her the ball. And I just think she's just such an incredible leader on our team. So it's just awesome to see that she has this record now. <laughs> Liz, do you have a response to that right now? I, I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty this high is, praise. I have, a, I have something to say about Karis because she said this was her first time in media, and she's absolutely killing it. Um, so there's a little tribute to her. <laughs> Karis is awesome. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Appreciate you guys. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you.